Hey kids, do you know what time it is? That's right, it's Kids Zone O'Clock. Pastor Adam here, and I am so excited to be with all of you today. Can't wait to get into this mystery box and see what's inside. I'm excited about doing a craft with Miss Catherine and singing a song together. Uh, we're gonna have so much fun together today. You might wanna invite your parents to come and join you. You, you might even do that, that would be nice. They, they'd love this. Well, this mystery box is from my friends, uh, Jake, Asa, and Luke Bearden. Cannot wait to see what the Bearden boys have put inside this box. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little concerned. You never know, you never, you never know what those Bearden boys, what might be in the box. What do you think it is? It's, it makes a little bit of noise. It feels pretty big in there. It shakes around a good bit. What do you, what do you think the Bearden boys put in this box? Hey everybody. We are here um, in the Bearden's neighborhood uh, to get our mystery box item today. All right, we are ready. Yes, I'm excited. I wonder, uh, you think all three of them picked something out or do you think just one of them? I have no idea. This could be dangerous. It could be dangerous. I'm interested to see what they picked. Let's go find out. All right, awesome. Do I have a Jake? Hey. Hey. Hi, guys. Uh, he's hiding it, all right. Are y'all going to come out or do I just get you? Oh, there we <laughs> go. <laughs> aren't, there, yes. aren't there three of you? Yeah, that's part of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you got something for the mystery box? All right. You going to you gonna put it in? He, he doesn't see it. Oh, oh, he's not even let me see it. I didn't see it. We gotta ask you. We gotta ask you about it. We can. We can see it. Or at least tell us what it is. If you don't want to show us, tell us what it is. What world is it? I don't even know what it is. What is it, Miss Kim? I believe it's a wrestling belt. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's fabulous. So why did we pick? Well, who picked it first of all? Yeah, who picked it? Jake. Jake. Blame it on Jake. Any any reason? <laughs> no, you just wanted to pick it. Yep. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Commentary in there. So you wrestle each other all the time? Yeah. So any <laughs> ideas about what Pastor Adam might be able to make a children's moment out of a world champion? A world champion? God's like that's oh. the one and only champion. I like I it. Like I that. like it. That works. See? Well, we'll have to see if that's what, uh, you'll have to watch. You get... <laughs> <laughs> Wrestler down. Wrestler down. Do you want to wave at all the kids in the kids' zone? No Say hi. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hi. So, you show me about it? Hey, so come on. <laughs> Y'all are a mess. All right, well, let's let's open it up and see what's inside here. Oh, this is fantastic. Do you see what this is? This is the championship belt from wrestling. You know the difference between wrestling and wrestling, right? There isn't a difference, they're the same. Anyway, this is the championship belt. I love this, this is awesome. I wonder if I can put it on. Nope, that doesn't fit. We'll just throw it over the shoulder. Rock style. Anyway, so I, I don't know if you've ever watched wrestling. I don't know if you are a big fan of wrestling. I know that the Bearden boys are a big fan of wrestling. We talk about wrestling uh, whenever I get to see them. And so uh, I'm, I'm super pumped that they sent this. You know, did you know that there is a story in the Bible about wrestling? There is, there's a story in Genesis where Jacob wrestles with God. They have a wrestling match. God shows up and, and Jacob is in this, this difficult place in life and, and, and difficult things have happened and, and he's a little bit worried about his relationship with his brother and, and he's in this moment of crisis, in the moment of difficulty and God shows up and, and Jacob and he wrestle. Sometimes we feel like 
Uh, we're wrestling with God in lots of different ways. We're wrestling to understand why things happen. We're wrestling to understand where, uh, where, where we might see some good and bright and joyful things in our lives sometimes. Sometimes we just feel like we're wrestling with God. And Jacob had this experience. But Jacob says something really interesting when he's wrestling with God. He says, God, I'm not going to let go of you until you bless me. In other words, Jacob just held on so tight to God and said, I just want to know that you're here with me and that you're good. Sometimes when we're wrestling with all the things in the world, when we're wrestling with, with difficulties at school and, and difficulties with our friends and different things that we might go through in life, sometimes we feel like we're wrestling and we just need to hold on tight to God and to remember the story of Jacob. Remember, we can hold on to God and say, God, I'm holding on to you till I get to see your goodness. I'm sure that every time God will come through and show us some love, some grace, and that we'll be like champions if we hold on to God. Will you pray with me? Gracious God, thank you for your word. Thank you that there are so many amazing stories of people just like us in the Bible. God, help us to, to look to your word so that we can see you, so that we can experience your blessing in our lives, so that we can know that you are good no matter what's happening in the world, no matter how we feel like we're wrestling. God, let us hold tight to you just like Jacob did. God, help us to see you today. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, well, I'm going to go tell everybody in the office that I'm the champion of the world. I'll see you guys next week. Hey everybody, I'm so glad you've joined us for Kid Zone O'Clock today. I have a special treat for you for our craft today. My friend McCade is gonna show us how to build a rocket out of a balloon. So get ready and let me know how your rocket turns out. Hey kids, my name is McCade. I'm gonna be doing some crafts with y'all today and we're gonna build an awesome rocket. So the only things that you need, you need two maybe chairs or something that you can tie some string on, which that's another thing you'll need. You'll need some string, you'll need some tape, you'll need some scissors, you'll need a straw, you'll need a balloon, and you'll need a marker. So that's all you need for this awesome craft. So the first thing that we're gonna do we are going to, I've already got this end of the string tied around this chair. Now I'm going to take the straw and I am going to thread it on to the string. Get it out the other end. And then we'll tie the other end of the string to the chair. All right, so now we've got it tied. Next thing that we're gonna do, we are going to take this balloon. We are going to draw a rocket on here. See if I can turn this over and draw a little rocket. So I got my little rocket drawn on this balloon. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get the tape ready. So I've got the tape ready. And then I'm gonna blow up the balloon and once I blow up the balloon, I am going to tape it on to this straw, all right? So I've got my balloon blown up. I am going to take this piece of tape, back side of this balloon, tape the balloon to the straw, and I'm gonna let it go. We're gonna see what happens, okay? See that, it flew all the way across. That's pretty cool, right? So that's all you need to do. You just need a couple simple materials. It's a really fun time, and we hope you guys enjoy. We stand and join us as we worship this morning. Let's have fun. Let's worship with the joy of the Lord this morning. My last spirit in melody An outcry of a life redeemed A thought turned to a mystery And sing with you, and sing with you My heart beats to your rhythm now My last song and eternal sound For all you've done, Lord, I'll sing it loud Forevermore, forevermore 
morning.